As many as 2,000 people gathered for the grand opening of the Dr. Seuss Museum in Springfield this morning. 22 News reporter Haley Cromwellholm was there as the doors opened to the public for the very first time. It was a sea of striped hats Saturday morning with as many as 2,000 people gathered to celebrate the opening of the amazing world of Dr. Seuss. Relatives of the famed author, illustrator, and Springfield native were joined by Lieutenant Governor Karen Polito and Springfield Mayor Dominic Sarno in opening the museum's doors for the first time. Relatives of Ted Geisel, better known as Dr. Seuss, donated personal letters and drawings from the late author. They said the museum gives people a better idea of the man behind the beloved children's books. They were happy to share it with the city of Springfield. Mulberry Street and lots of other elements in his stories all originated here from his experience as a kid. He would be quite impressed with what they've put in this show and to see kind of a another side of his life, the, the more personal side that doesn't often get seen by the general public. People came from all over to attend the museum's grand opening, but the amazing world of Dr. Seuss held special meaning for Springfield natives. A lot of people don't realize that, uh, you know, this is this is the birthplace of, of you know, Dr. Seuss and, and where all the inspiration and the stories had to come from. We look around and it's like, wow, drawing inspiration from the city is, is, is beautiful. The newest addition to the Springfield Museums, the amazing world of Dr. Seuss is expected to draw visitors from worldwide. Springfield Museum's Director of Development said the opening of the Dr. Seuss Museum is expected to bump up attendance by 25 percent throughout the entire summer. The museum is expected to attract as many as 2,000 visitors per day. Patrons can look at some of Seuss's personal items and participate in interactive games and challenges aimed at improving children's literacy and vocabulary. I can't even believe how colorful it is. The paintings are beautiful. High technology in the rooms. Touch the screens and make different things all by yourself. I'm very, very impressed with it. And I love Dr. Seuss. The museum can be summed up by Dr. Seuss himself. You can find magic wherever you look. In Springfield,